guys, Steph here. Okay, let's show you today's pen and let's show you the before and the afterwards. Now, for you regular viewers, some of you will remember seeing this pen here. There we go, a lovely pen as you can see. As with a lot of the pens, a little bit tired. Okay, you can see the the sap protector inside has deteriorated and rusted, just needs a little bit of refurbishment. Hey, hey, hey. And after that refurbishment, here's that pen in question. An absolutely gorgeous and handsome Green Parker Dufold Senior Fountain Pen. The size of this pen capped is 142mm capped, around the barrel it's a lovely 12mm in diameter. Now the Parker Dufold Senior, this is the what they term, term as the new Dufold, um, it was made for the European market, they also brought them out in a black version, red, blue and this, this gorgeous green colour okay now the date of this particular pen the the new style or the new do folds were brought out around 1953 although this one is from 1954 um, through to 1958 now at 19 around 1958 they discontinued the senior model and then introduced the Parker Maxima fountain pen. So, as I said, this one nice and simply I can date to 1955. The senior model was actually the flagship pen of that particular range of that particular period. It's a lovely size pen and a lovely large pen as well. Okay, now as I said in the sort of before it was in a little bit of state it needed a little bit of TLC it needed a new green jewel to the top as well as the Parker clip as you can see there this model also if you look at the cap band there comes with this sort of uh, zigzag shaped or chevron there you go this the cap ring the chevron cap ring as you can see there but all in all a very very handsome fountain pen now if we if we unscrew the cap for you give you a couple of the customary twirls so you can see the pen in numerous different angles it's in absolutely gorgeous condition now the only thing with this particular pen when I was working on it um, because of the sort of used and sort of age condition when I was working on it it had a barrel imprint which to be quite honest with you was actually it had faded in particular areas and it wasn't very very legible and the only problem with it it had two quite deep scratches running through running through the imprint. Now what I had to do is well I had to make an executive decision on what I'm going to do with it and what I decided because when I'm coming to polishing all the pen to give the pen this lovely well there's no scratches left on this barrel or the the cap so the decision that I made was to uh, polish out completely the barrel imprint as lo well along with the sort of scratches and if I actually sort of just turn it round for you you can see there there's no scratches visible at all on the pen now it's not a common thing that I actually do on these pens in most cases if the if the barrel imprint is nice and clear what I will do is actually mask mask over the imprint before I start polishing the pen but in this particular case a little bit unusual um, as I say the imprint was faded anyway wasn't wasn't too legible 
and it had these two deep scratches so that's what I decided upon whether I was right or not yeah I'm sure there'll be people out there saying you shouldn't have done it or yes I prefer it this way but either way that's the decision that I made now if we take you up to the section you can see it's got the well a very recognizable quite a plain section also in the green color and then to the top there we've got this lovely Parker 14 carat England number 35 which is the correct nib size for the Dufal Senior and what you can't see because it's now hidden inside the section is that it, at the bottom it had RU5 now the RU being I can't quite remember was it Rithidium or whatever which was the the sort of metal that they used for the tipping but the 5 indicates to us that it's 1955 so that's how I'm actually dating the pen there's a sideways view okay there's the feed underneath the very typical Parker what we term as a ladder feed and as I say in all the videos everything been disassembled and fully cleaned so it's in excellent excellent condition now one thing that you may have seen on the before video earlier on if I actually take the the barrel off for you there and show you now this this sap protector so what I've actually done is carefully cleaned everything up removed the rust etc giving it a little bit of polish and as you can see now it's like new it's also got the if I sort of turn it around slightly you can see it's got the instructions on the sap protector there for you but the main thing is look at the condition now of that sap protector it's in well as near as original condition that you would find um, I also found on this particular one the the sack actually had a hole in it which prevented it actually working so what I've done is put a brand new um, sack in it for the new owner so the fact that it's got a new sack in it I'm not going to fill the pen I'm going to leave that to the new owner so what we'll do let's bring on the pad here okay we've got some ink to our side here and what I'm going to do is simple do do a dip test let's just see how how the pen writes and what kind of nib it has so what we've got is a a Parker Parker Dufold and this one is the senior as we've said dated from 1955 <laughs> it's writing actually very nicely indeed there's no there's no flex on these nibs they tend to be quite stiff nibs but the thing about it it's writing nice and smoothly I would say writing with maybe a fine or maybe just getting onto a medium fine to medium I'm not not 100% sure but the main thing writing very nicely indeed very smoothly and a gorgeous gorgeous pen and there we have it a gorgeous Parker Dufall Senior, the new Dufall for the European market, in gorgeous condition, fully, fully refurbished <laughs> and ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen, as always, as much as I enjoy showing them to you people. Don't forget, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel, don't forget, and just down there, just, just below, press that thumbs up give the video a thumbs up if you will please but for now i'm just going to say slavo krijini 
and from me in this gorgeous pen bye bye for now